thank you for clicking on this video. But I just want to ask you one thing. When you clicked on this video, were you looking for genuine advice for your hair loss? Or you wanted to see another James Bond thriller? Curated results, results after a visit to the salon, results with hair fiber, results with contrast on high in photo editing. Well, none of my videos, the last 1000 videos I have posted on this channel and about 2000 on other social media platforms is a video for solicitation. My videos are purely to give you knowledge, to empower you with the ability, with the knowledge to make a considered independent decision and also to tell you the pros and cons of choosing a particular technique over the other. My videos guide you on how to retain a hair transplant result which any clinic can give you today, a natural hair transplant result. My videos merely empower you to firstly obtain a natural hair transplant result and then depending upon available resources, preserving your grafts for future use and inform you also that a long lasting result is more important than a result that withers away in a matter of one or two years. So today's case is a young man for his grade four vertex male pattern baldness, he came seeking a hair transplant. 3,500 grafts were used for his hairline, the temple points and the crown area. The patient was placed on the traditional three medications for six months, but since he had miniaturization, he has been on these medications, including oral DHT blocker for the past two years. And now he has come for review to show his thinning crown area. So see his result, watch it carefully, and then I'll tell you the approach. So this patient received, as I told you earlier, 3,500 scalp grafts and he's been on oral DHT blocker for the past all of two years. He has followed the medication diligently, taken medical advice seriously, and you can see his natural result, his natural hairline, his natural temple points need to be appreciated. But the crown area in which the plantation was done with lesser density than along the hairline has started to thin, despite the fact that he's taking oral DHT blockers. Well, many people think that if they take finasteride in the dosage of one milligram every day, it will completely stop their hair loss. Well, this is not so. If you're a young person, your gene is active, some amount of thinning will continue to happen. So in this case, there is no balding, just thinning, which is started. So I placed him on oral minoxidil. And after six months, when he comes back again, I will review his case. And if required, a little bit of touch up will be done in the crown area. I am very hesitant in young people to introduce dutasteride, which many clinics start as the first line of treatment. I am of the firm belief that one should not completely shut off DHT. Dutasteride blocks over 93% of DHT. DHT hormone is there for a purpose and we cannot play too much with the hormones or the body will hit back. So that was the case for today. If you have any questions about hair loss, about this patient's hair transplant, about progression of baldness, about continuation of medication, or anything else you want to ask me about this topic, let me know, put a comment in the comment section below and I'll be there to help you. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, but like this video, please do subscribe. Not only will it encourage me in posting more videos so you do better research, but also you will get notifications about the upcoming videos from time to time. So thank you for watching again. 
and God bless you.